Let's continue playing King of Dragon Pass. We last left off. Uh, things are going reasonably well. We're making profit. We're making additional food. And we're about even on um, cow, horse, people numbers. A bit down on sheep, but we can live with that. Proceed. Okay, we need to acquire more treasures in the next two years to become rich. Right. Also, the harvest will be very poor. We're going to put three into quests, two into heroism, one into destiny, crops, hunting, trade and herds. Uh, two points into trade, one point into herds. Proceed. Illatar, noble of Tarsh, comes to visit you. He sells you of his land. Tarsh is the king of the northwest. His people are a lengthy who, like you, follow the laws of King Kjort. They run up the world, though, and may do things very differently from you. Once Illatar has given you his news, he has an offer. Tarsh's king, Aram, is raging war against the empire to the north, called the Lunar Empire. Illatar wants to hire some of your weapon veins as mercenaries for a several season military campaign. Much loot, many, many cows you will gain. We only have 18 weapon veins, I don't think we can really afford to send anything. <laughs> How exactly are we going to drive many, many cows all the way down from the Lunar Empire? Decline. We will give a gift though, because we are we're nice like that. So on to questing, I think. Um we'll improve hunting yield because we need as much food as we can get in that regard. Uh hunting's gonna get us 150 apparently, so that should work. What's Bentar's got? Uh vigor, pool productivity. That should be fine, actually. Okay. Let's not put this off any longer. Hero quest. We want to do... A world is blessing, ideally. Because we are... We do want to increase our cow numbers, but I don't think we've got anybody who is, um... A worshipper known, so we can't really do that. Um... I suppose that means we've got all Anth and Oroka is the main one to do now. Baranolf! You're up. Uh, we shall ask for help, because we might as well. Four. The people have gathered to help propel Baranolf into the place of a god, with the assistance of 80 worshippers from our tribe. What benefit does he seek? We're going to go for a magical treasure. We have already done this hero quest before, so I am going to skim through this to a large extent. So I have fought with her brothers already, most of my nephews as well. For you, sweet wife, I will go and speak to them. Then I will friend them, then I will curse them, then I will drive them off or kill him. And so we shall take Blue Punishment Dagger dishes out. Alright, here we go. Baron Wolf learns that there is a secret weapon to use against Dagger the Hain God. But we must beat the enemies and take something from both. From both. Now, we seduced last time, if I remember rightly, and that worked. We'll go for it. Excellent. They laid together and the so dark woman cried out that she was leaving a child within her. Stormballs can come in handy sometimes. Follow me. Do as Stormball says. At last, Baronel finds the lair of Heroka. He uses the things he brought with him, the things he took away, took from the enemies he vested along the way. He uses them to fight the dragon. First, Oroka opened his eyes to destroy the mind of Orlanth. The Storm God released the four winds, and each of them cast its weapon into the eye of a dragon, binding it. Oroka lashed out of its tongue as Orlanth released the upper wind, this dried out the snaking enemy. Oroka roared out its final, fatal breath, but Orlanth captured it inside the sack of winds and threw it away. Then Orlanth strode into its mouth and seized the upper jaw with its hands and placed his foot upon its lower jaw. Then with a shout of victory, the yeah. drew the dragon asunder. Right. There was a great um, flood of blood, water, and mead swept over the land. Inside was Hilaire, the rain god, who was his friend afterwards. Hilaire was sent against Dega, and Orlanth went too, pounding the land and covering it with rain. Orlanth captured Dega and put him in a jar. Soon, Anolda was nourishing again, and drought was banished. Right. And cheered by it all, Baronel put a number of items back from the place of the gods. Which do we wish to inspect first? Oh, there's actually a few of these, if I remember. Um... Bag of all Anthony Greens. We gained the Bag of Winds. Yeah, whichever you need to choose first we get. No. Colimar and his party must be presumed dead. But 
that is one successful hero quest and we have the bag of wins, which helps to drive off foes when we are raided. Alright, let's explore and find rare and wondrous things, not trade our precious treasures away. Should sell some of our horses. Yeah, actually that's not a bad idea. Let's go and send out um, you, we're going to sell horses for goods. A large caravan. And we shall go to... <coughs> Sorry. We should go to Minari because they are quite wealthy from the last report. Yes, I remember this one. Someone or something has evaded your patrols to leave a curious gift on the doorstep of your clan hall. The gift is a basket containing large and peculiarly shaped eggs. I told you not one struck, the adults wonder whether this omen bodes good or ill. They could be very valuable. If we are to understand this omen, we should look to clues as to who left them. Whoever left these meant them as a gift. We can do whatever we want with them. Cows could use a gesture right about now. We don't know if they're safe to eat or not. Mm, I can taste them already. I'm going to care for them until they hatch. Children were happy and checked the eggs several times each day. All of the nesty are raiding us now, are they? We have a lot of magic in reserve from our successful hero quest. We're going to... Drive them off. Charge. We rushed to Vanessi's formation while they still sacrificing their gods. We ran for a barrage of missiles. Well, the Vanessi can realize the danger, call them and dashes alongside them and strikes down the chief god talker, a my priest, renowned for his battle skill. Call them and escapes from the Vanessi warriors, seeking revenge for their comrade, then rests a moment beside our own god talkers. Uh. By choosing his battle magic. Kill the Vanessi with a single blow and asked Oryx to grant him strength. We heard the Stormballs who was pound the side column and steps. The Vanessi died like bugs. We did lose three weapon fanes though. We have had lost more than them on that uh, little encounter. So we're going to have to hire some more weapon fanes. There we go. Uh, Karen, back from Minari, we traded 16 horses for 68 cows worth of goods. Other Gerundings want to play, do they? Take captives, maneuver, sacrifice to all and go. Gerunding charge hit us before we could reach advantageous ground, splashing me quickly. Oh, we're losing a lot of people. Someone has taken the Vale of Shalana Arroy and disappeared from its place of keeping during the night. Footprints were found in the soft ground beneath the stead, but no one heard or saw anything unusual during the night. Offer a reward. Even if we fail to recover the Vale of Shalana Roy, people will know that we are prosperous. If we had better patrols, this never would have happened. Treasures come and go. The important thing is that they circulate through the world, encouraging good trading. Magical treasure must be treated like it was a chief chieftain. Hold the prison hold prisoner by your enemies. The magic is strong. If you perform a definition, the guard talks greatly understand the sendings of our guards. The guards cannot protect us from what has already happened. For they are bound by time as the rest of us. I have to admire their spunks, feeling it from right under our noses like that. Alright, the Apple Clan. They said that if free, pe free people would die if we tried to recover it. Shall I announce? 60 goods as a reward. We spread the word of our reward through our traders and hoped for good luck to replace bad. Right, patrols out. So having a bit of a bad time of things now, but heck, we did successfully complete one of the hero quests. Let's see. I think what we... Expanding the length of my temple. That might actually be a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. The strange eggs hatch and stranger creatures emerge from them. They are large baby lizard things with a rough bone around their beard beaked faces. I'm sure nothing this odd has ever been born in one of your baths before. These creatures are called earth shakers and are holy to an older sister, Marin Gore. Look at their teeth. They eat plants just like cows. These creatures are a novelty at least. Perhaps they are valuable. These things could be connected to the dragons. How big do you think these are? these get? How much pasture land would they require? Look at their shape. Those groans or gar groats carry great amounts of meat. These things are revolting. What fool suggests we keep the eggs? 
It wasn't you, but it would not surprise me if you did want to keep them. Let's try to raise them. I'm not sure how they would turn out, but agree to raise them and see. This is a fun one, this one. Those eggs are going to be the, the making of this tribe or the breaking of it, actually, the way it works out. Because I've had both the disastrous event from raising them happen and also the brilliant event happening from raising them. Right, we're in our season. I'm going to explore the Confasus um, clans a little more. Slowly, go. Nothing really. A strange melody grips several of your weapon veins. Each is stricken with fits of palsy, causing them to drop their swords or other heavy items. It's arrived with no warning. It lasts for everywhere from a few minutes to several hours. Some of the weapon veins brought, I think this is brought on by strenuous exercise. The melody most often strikes those sparring on the clan's training ground. At first, everyone ignored Malia, but the more, the more they've ignored her, the worse her affliction got. Let's find out who did this so we can raid them. Shamans are sometimes hard to find, but their services will cost less than sacrifice to Roy, who is the busiest of goddesses. Malia is a chaos god. It would be a grave offence to propagate her. No, never propagate Malia. It's less important to find out who did this than to put an end to it. Sacrifice to Shalana Roy. Spirits were sent by the shamans. The shamans pay for the great foxes. You feel we have wronged them. How will send those spirits packing? Drenyan said she has successfully sent the bad spirits away. It's a bad harvest. Luckily we're slow enough to feed everybody, so we're okay there. Right. We probably should do a little more exploration, but obviously we can't do it this season. Um, let's think about this. We could build a bigger temple here. A pathfinder. Let's. We can't improve that possibly because it's only a one. A one one. So we're going to stick to field woman. We have sure shot for hunting yield, that should help. Uh, Mux can't expand that temple. We can probably expand one to, to two though. Yes, yeah, so we can expand the Shalana Roy temple. Yeah, we'll build that. That's that's a worthy one to have. So hastens recovery of sick and wounded people. Not that we have any, of course, but it's still nice to know. Let's have no actually that's not feast. Just remembered, we're on sort of limits with things here. Right. Let's go and... More allies than enemies. Let's send an emissary to the... Um... Actually, yeah, we'll send the emissary to the Gerundings. Give gifts. We shall give 50 food. Actually, no, it's dark season, of course. What am I, what am I thinking? We can't do anything in dark season. Ah, uh, okay. Then um, what we shall do is pass. On a routine visit to Alanka, my temple, the girl, Vabella, adopted from your clan by the Great Foxes, tells a friend of her mother's that she wants to come back to your clan. The girl has turned out simple and far from the great hero for knowing God's... Um, the Great Foxes fought they had adopted. But that says she is being mistreated and wishes to come home. If we accuse them of mistreating her, they will be offended. Her relations are poor enough as it is. She may be a visionary, not a scholar, no matter what the Great Foxes scroll says. I have a knack for telling lies from truth. Allow me to question them. If they are mistreating her, they will not admit to it. People aren't, will be unhappy if they hear she's being mistreated and... Ah, thank you. I must bear but was but a simple farmer and refugee. Yet he discovered the means of hero questing and destroyed the evil Lokomanian. Lokomaidan. Let's not ask questions we don't want to hear the answers to. They were angered. They said that our brains had been addled by the blabbering of talking god priests. Traders tell you the elves have raided the Tanahearts, who are members of the Balmia tribe. It's worse than the usual raid. The Tanahearts have lost many lives and much wealth. They will gain their esteem by helping them. If we threaten them, we'll gain their help hatred. Make sure they know who visited this fate upon them, so they will fear us. Yes, this is us, actually. If we tell them we sent the elves after them, they'll be afraid and will cough up more tribute than we demand. We're not obligated to help them. 
be responsible for their problem because we gave the one to the others. We should admit it. It's an excellent chance to get two foes at each other's throats. We're going to give them... 75 food and... 25 gifts. Their gratitude was unrestrained. Uh, stolen my greatest... Returned our stolen treasure, the Vale of Shalomarain, claimed the reward we offered. He was toasted many times, so happy were we to get it back. Offspring said our treasure was found on the shooter of the Apple Clan. Excellent. Ah, the Vale of Shalomarain returns to its rightful place. However, we are now going to struggle to get um, our goods up, I think. But it's fine, we can live with things at the moment. Right, now what were we going to do? We were going to send out an emissary to the Ben Stutt, to the Jerenings, I think. We're going to give them... We don't give gifts. We're going to give them 75 food. The strange little lizards have grown into strange, very big lizards. They're trampling the grain, eating ferociously, and occasionally stomping the occasional chicken. No one knows what to do with them. Carls are upset with the havoc the beasts are causing. I remembered. These earthshake treaters are powerful wards against chaos. During the darkness, they helped Marangor fight whoever whack off the devil. No point in trying to trade them now when we don't quite know what to do with them. If our Reginald Herzog went mentioned, I will. These things are eating as much as free cows. They haven't stopped growing. These dumb creatures aren't that much dumber than cows. I can train those beasts of burden, I think. If we eat them, our fertility problems will be solved. Forever! At least slowly seem to respond to our training. Jerenings were extra yeah, extravagantly praised our gifts. They toasted me in the feasting hall, drinking far into the night and singing many rousing songs with me. I'll give them more favourably disposed towards us now. Awesome. Hmm. So what to do? Uh, I think we might see if we can get a trade going. Uh, some trade goods to... To trade anything, then, do we? Well, that's not the problem. We can go and explore our shoe level last turn. 3 and 12, slowly. We found a set of old bagpipes. First, we thought them broken and worthless, but then one of us remembered a story about the bagpipes of Roneski, whose magic routed the trolls during the Battle of Swen's Ford. The last we knew of them, they had been stolen from the rest um, of a clan in the Holy Country, but now we found them. People are disheartened. We must know. Oh. Derek, a young boy of your clan, is the only member of his family to return from a visit to his mother's kinfolk among the Squatics. They return, they're attacked by stable riders, nomads of the eastern desert of Prax. They mostly slew everybody, and they would have killed Derek if he not played dead. Derek swears that when he grows up, he will avenge him himself on the evil nomads of Prax. Urgh. Send Doraisa and six weapon things to kill stable riders. Braxians led by a Death's champion, Jordan Goldentooth, helped start the Dragon Kill War. Jordan brought 100,000 warriors to, from Prax to destroy the Dragon Nude resting places. How they turned up protection, they were doomed. It's a good time to sacrifice or conduct a divination. Derek will achieve his vengeance and become a great hero in doing so. Saber Riders are our friends. How can they do this to us? grow to be strong and wise. He would leave us and would become known as a great hero. He would bring death to a death bringer, laying him under a cane, cane of skulls. He, knew, he would find a new people, a nation of outsiders, and would bring honour to the clan. And then Stalia raiding us, are they? Uh, scares off Trollkin. We can't really use that. Um, one point of magic, we had sacrificed to... All I'm going to try and take captives. When I'm able to catch any captives, uh, capture four horses though. Lost a few people. Half of the bad news today is the tools and weapons going straight about cause, and they're never found once lost. Okay, 16 new children as adults. Uh, 31 babies born, 15 fewer people. Our, cat our sheet numbers are dropping rapidly. Need to fix that, I think. Made a profit though. Identified no other omens, and this troubled them. Right. We don't really want to be hero questing this time because, ah. Because, ah. That's exactly why. 
Two into crops. One into herds. Two into trade. One into war. Proceed. Right. Karandora uh, has um, aged again. Drenian's now in her 30s. And the clan ring looks to be aging at a steady rate. So, what do we want to do now? Well, really, I don't think there's an awful lot we can do, so I'm going to pass the sea season. Sorry, God's cellar, a trader priestess of Tolkien Godasari, is presented to offer you what she says is a great treasure. An oldest oven. Bread baits in the oven requires 1 20th less grain than ordinary bread. Name price. Even if we cannot afford her goods, we must honour her. I am thinking it might be a good thing to in this oven. I feel ready to deal with her as long as we are sure of our maximum price. Although it would be splendid to have such a nice thing, we can trust the Osiris trader. It's time we did something to lessen the wind's work around here. Uh, we would recover an investment of 60 cows in three years. Let us trade the bagpipes for them. Oops, too much. Right, apologies about that. And to make matters worse for myself this video, I actually didn't record the last um, the result resumption of the next encounter. So yeah, we're doing well here. Um, it was pretty much a recurrence of the um, the weird dancing um, issues that were the trick Scott healed us on last time. He's healed us again this time. Right, moving on. We need to assign as many weapon planes as we can get away with. Have enough warriors and the morale is high. Spare the farmers for a raid. We don't really need to raid too much here at this stage. Um, for one hero quest, we don't know all of Elmore's blessings. Which is probably true. So let's go and sacrifice 10 goods. We got the sun ritual. Chefs of your clan are invited to participate in a kite flying, kite fighting kite festival. They stand at the borders between the clan in a way that um, impresses all that battling, stormy nature. True friendly competition. The festival takes place over several days. Let's use sharp edges on their kites to try and cut the strings of the other kites. The clan that wins the most matches is forced to have the favour of Orlan. It's a good chance to improve our relations with our neighbours with little risk of insulting them. When Orlan tamed his unruly brothers, he did not fight them with peaceful colours. Instead, he a brightly coloured kite sport. Good relations mean good trading. This tradition shows that we respect each other's borders and pay tribute to Orlan's competitive nature without shedding blood. If we win the contest, the clan magic will be stronger. Who cares about fighting kites? Uh, for an elaborate feast for the other clans. Our shepherds cut the most kites and we won the contest. The other clans saw that we had the favour of Orlan and we lost a lot of cattle. Oh boy, we lost a lot of cattle. So glad we have the clay, the clay cow, but we lost a lot of cattle. Okay. Establish uh, trade routes. Buy some cattle. We probably do need to buy some cattle, actually. But we'll be okay. The farmers are disconsented, probably because we just lost a load of cattle. Still, what we can do is change shield to sun, which will help us ripen the crops. Hopefully improve our stuff there. Let's consider other things. Alangor. Nah, we're okay here. The only question becomes, do we want to raid? Let's go for a cattle raid, actually. On the Vestali. Eh. Vestali are the weakest to be nearby clans. Let's go with 7 and 12. We managed to keep undercover until the last moment and spread away with 35 cows without meeting any trouble. Excellent. Fendart, a warrior who of your clan whose visage was made monstrous by the alien god of the Tusk Raiders, comes before the clan ring, demanding redress for a grievance. I'm sorry they're my own clan. I'm continually insulted, whispered about, and treated as some kind of outlaw or foreigner. No one will look me in the eye. In our last raid, no one will turn their backs to me. When I was cut off from the Vinstarly weapon veins, no one came to my aid. You've welcomed me here, but others have done everything they can to drive me from my ho the home of my birth. 
I do not wish to fight against those of my clan, although you dishonour me. I instead demand that you reproach them for their misbehaviour, so they will correct it. If we can solve this matter while displeasing neither Feindars or the others, we will gain a reputation for wisdom. He's right. The Weapon Veins did support him during our raid on the Vinstali. He has been made to you must be made to understand that the others treat him badly out of fear. If we approach the others, he will consider his honor satisfied, even if their response is bad. We can't make anyone do anything. If we give him gifts, the others will be less generous. His upstart needs a good scolding. They argued they had not behaved properly toward um, Fadars and promised to mend their ways. Fadars said he had much ale for them to drink if they would do him the honour of accepting his hospitality. He would rank long into the night and the matter was settled. Okay, that was a good resolution. That could have been worse, I think, so we'll get away with that. Alright. Let us um, consider it. Don't sell cows, we have trade goods for sale. They're probably right. I just don't want to, um... Uh, let's consider this. Alright, sell goods, buy cattle. So who has good... Any red tribe? No, it's a favour, apples. Who has the most cows? The Hendarf clan. Let's go with them. Suddenly there are snakes everywhere. In the grain bins, under beds, in the rafters, and crawl into any open space. They scare the cattle. This is work than a nuisance. It's a plague. Orlanth is famed for slaying dragons. Snakes are like dragons. Honor Orlanth, and he will slay the snakes. There's some creatures of the wiggle of chaos about them. Whatever you do, don't listen to the trickster. The stories say an alder protects us from snakes. I don't like having to heal snake bites, but the most poisonous bites can't be healed at all. The alder maintains dominion over snakes and other creatures to crawl upon the earth. I petition her for relief from this plague. Snake's a tricky creature, but you can't turn its head from its tail to be a trickster. You need a bigger trickster. Sacrifice a cow to her more. A sacrifice to an older. The snakes went away. Okay, that's that's acceptable. We can live with that. Just have a look at our tribes at the moment. Uh... Yeah, tribes are everywhere. We have a lot of food. In fact, we should probably consider trading that as well next time. Let's go and explore our Chula. Call them in 3 and 12, slowly. Didn't find anything interesting. Fadar, the warrior of your clan, whose visage was made monstrous by the alien god of the Tusk Raiders, comes before the clan ring with a crest. Parents have tried to find a bride for me, but I've been rebuffed at every turn, even by our closest allies. I understand it is difficult to find a woman to marry a man with a face like mine, but I do not expect to beautiful bride, or a clever one, or even a kindly one, but I do need a bride so that I may carry my sacred line of my ancestors. I implore you to intervene in this matter and find me a mate. Okay. What is it with people in this tribe trying to being incredibly ugly and trying to find brides? I don't know. Possible that we will offend our allies by asking for a bride for a fellow so hideous. Although once feared and mistrusted, Fadart is now popular with the people. They'll be unhappy if we don't help him. Although it's up to us for his parents to pick a bride, clan leaders may step in when a deserving person finds it difficult to find a mate. We have become used to Fadar's visage, but it is new to find two to our neighbours. It will be hard to find a humbly widow or a spinster, even a humbly widow or a spinster for him. If this start Fadar, he will find a way to die. The people will be hardened if we promise to find him a bride, no matter what. After long discussions with a number of friendly clans, we found a prospect for him. Kinstrold of the Squatter clan. She was neither lovely nor clever, but when Fadart's eyes set upon her, both were filled with love. People who had embraced Fadart and his cause rejoiced. They set about making a cel wedding celebration that would be remembered in Dragon Pass for generations to come. We traded for one cow. <laughs> so pigs, we have more than the uh, they have more than we do. Bountiful harvest this year. Enjoyed harvests as good as ours, or better. Yeah, we had a very good year. Right. Or is a man's job? I was trying to Vigna risks our women for no good reason. Okay. Well, I don't agree with that, but, um, okay. 
let's see. Can't upgrade the Aroxy Temple. I'm not really sure what to do at this stage of the game. We don't have enough cattle, that's for sure. But we need our goods. We're gonna pass. Goddess of Aralda, mother of cows, come to you and offer to perform rituals to honor their goddess. The ritual may call cows healthier and more fertile. Though they do so to honor Aralda, it's also clear they want um, you to offer something in exchange for their ritual services. Many of them are from the Hendar Flame, which is friendly towards us, so never mind. Paramedic is actually quite strong. Let's give them four. They thank us for helping to make the cows of Dragon Pass fertile and happy. They gathered up our cows and walked around them seven times, whisking them with the holy tail. Our performing a lowing dance, the gas ritual complete, and the parties of the cheers and good wishes of the cows. Oh, as a result, the weapon are secure, the clan mood is jubilant. We have 540 goods. And I think that means we can start sacrificing a few of them now. What rituals don't we have? we got one of Elmore's missing. We learn secrets of Elmore guards instead. The efforts to train the Earthshakers as beasts of burden have been successful. They can bore carts laden with goods as if they weighed nothing at all. They quickly and accurately plough deep furrows. They become quite skillful at nosing boulders out of your lands for the cars. <laughs> out of land your cars are clearing. The gift of these fabulous beasts could end a feud or fortify an alliance. The most famous clans are those with legendary names. Those creatures will make us the Earth Shakers and we will be remembered forever. Which are very valuable. Clan magic might increase if we sacrifice them. I think the Earth Shakers will live 30 years, give or take. I think the Earth Shakers will live for 60 years. We're gonna keep them. Tribute due to the stray foxes a season late. We can only assume they have decided not to pay. If we raid them, our own oaths not to attack are no longer binding. Raid, Grey Foxes, 200. Actually, oh, hold on, before we do that. Two of them are friendly, the Grey Foxes are not. Actually, four of them are friendly compared to that. We want more fighters, then the Rangdani for help in a raid. They owe us fighters. They owe us favors and can share the plunder. Rangdani. Okay. Auxiliaries of Tvikia 40. Raid. We lead the Grey Fox patrols. Our 15 weapon veins and 200 footmen are facing only 10 weapon veins and 20, 56 spearmen. We're going to go 5. We're going to plunder. We're going to charge. Rush Grey Fox formation while they're still sacrificing the gods. They're able to retreat as we charge. It was a bloody battle. Our magic helped carry the day. We drove the Grey Fox from the battlefield, captured 21 cows and 9 horses. Right, end of the year. We've produced a lot of food. We are down quite heavily on cows, but we can recover that, I feel. And I think next time we are going to have to try another hero quest. We're going to have to do these every two years now. So, next time, hero quest. Until then.